This is the Intel showroom at CES 2025. Let's go take a look. I'm here with Lyle, who's gonna tell us what's new with Thunderbolt. So we've, what, what's big here? I see a lot of setup. Well, Ben, we got some great stuff here at CES with the Intel booth. First off, with Thunderbolt, what I wanna highlight to, to your customers and viewers is that Thunderbolt now is here on desktop. You know, Thunderbolt's been around on laptops for a long time, right? We find Thunderbolt ports, you know, it's pretty mainstream now sure. on, on laptops. And what we've done now, starting with Intel Core Ultra Series 2 desktop processor, mm -hmm. is we've integrated Thunderbolt into that processor. So now you are seeing in this example here, I've got mm -hmm. an Asus motherboard uh -huh. that has Thunderbolt 4 ports down on the system. Very so that's cool. just amazing. So this is a great system. It's got Thunderbolt ports on it. Um, in certain cases, even Thunderbolt 5. So there's add-in cards now being announced. And sure. you can add this Thunderbolt 5 add-in card, this Asus uh, add-in card to that system. So we actually added this Thunderbolt 5 in addition to the Thunderbolt 4 ports that came on the motherboard. So that's great. So I can continue awesome. to expand. Yeah, excellent. Okay. So that's that's kind of cool there. Um, and then the other thing we, we want to highlight is we continue to do really cool things around Thunderbolt Share, that PC to PC software solution that allows you to connect two PCs directly together. Okay. And it actually won a CES Innovation Award. Amazing. So let me show you. So what have we got here? I've got Marvel rivals running on this desktop, right? There's 20 million users out there. Yeah, and Overwatch so, 3. Oh yeah, exactly, yeah. right? So what we want to do is I want to take what I'm doing here, my game, mm -hmm. and let's say I want to stream it to Twitch, to YouTube, or maybe I want to record it. Okay. But rather than loading extra software on my gaming system, I'm going to turn this Windows 11 Intel Core Ultra Series 2 laptop into an OBS recording studio. And I'll okay. show you how easy that is with Thunderbolt Share. So I have Thunderbolt Thunderbolt share loaded on both PCs. I'm going to take my Thunderbolt cable that's already connected mm -hmm. to my desktop. I'm going to plug it into my laptop and it's going to set up a high speed Thunderbolt connection between the two PCs, between my laptop and my desktop. And I can show you here. So I setting up that detected the cable, setting up that connection. Now I've got Thunderbolt share menu options. Okay. Now I can do file transfer and sync folders, but but what I want to show you is this control the other computer. So I'm going to do screen sharing. Click that. I immediately have uncompressed full frame access to my desktop over my Thunderbolt share. That's so cool. So the other cool thing is that we are announcing here at CES that's brand new to Thunderbolt share is we are adding audio streaming. So you can turn on remote audio. So now man, when, you, when you play the game and start to shoot, the audio and video is coming to this, this system. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up OBS Studio, and I'm going to actually, so I got it up here. I'm going to add a window capture. There's my Thunderbolt Share. It's looking at whatever application I'm choosing the Thunderbolt Share window that I already established in the background, right? I'll choose audio. I'll click OK. Now, anytime you play, I can start recording. I've just set up an audio video studio, that simple. Stop recording, I could be streaming if I wanted to. Sure. I'll go to my videos here. There's the one I just created of you playing the game. And so like, I'm playing it back. That's very cool. A couple of clicks. No capture card, no, capture no card, extra hardware. No extra hardware. It's just a, a cool feature benefit of Thunderbolt and Thunderbolt Share. That's really, really cool. All of a sudden, any Thunderbolt PC could be your your streaming studio, like you. Absolutely right. You just have to have Thunderbolt Share. Just requires either the PC or an accessory to be Thunderbolt Share licensed, right? So people okay. need to look for Thunderbolt Share as a feature of whatever new device or PC they're buying, and you only need one. Only one. Only one. Only one in the setup. Okay. Right. It could be a dock, a new Thunderbolt dock that's Thunderbolt Share licensed. It could be a motherboard, mm -hmm. uh, or it could be 
a laptop. In this case, the Thunderbolt 5 add-in card from Asus yeah. is actually Thunderbolt Share license. So by adding that to your motherboard, you've completed it. Now completed you have a license. Now I load the software on all my PCs and I can make the connection whenever I connect. And the software is free. Software is free, right? Yeah. Software you just download from Intel. Yeah. And then it just looks when you run it to see, hey, is there a Thunderbolt Share device or PC that I'm attached to? Sure. Right? And then it goes. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. Like, it, it makes it, it makes the connection between two PCs as simple as we as you intuitively feel like it should be, right? Right. You put one cable between them, and now it's it it just works. You can easy drag and drop fast, files. Efficient, exactly. And that's the cool thing when you go back and you and you look at Thunderbolt Share. It's not just screen sharing. Yeah. It's you know dragging and dropping files in between without using an external drive, as an example. Yeah. Or I can sync a folder. Or I buy a new PC from Newegg, I can easily transfer my data from my old computer to my new computer. See? There you go. See, so get that new PC, just transfer everything over, and then use your old PC as your new streaming PC. That's right. There you go. Lyle, I think this is incredible. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. I'm glad we did. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much, Lyle. Yes. And you can get your Intel upgrade at Newegg.com.